A breakthrough on how our brain learns and remembers? Well, let's break through the brain to see. Our brain consists over 80 billion neurons, and these neurons produce and send neurotransmitters. A presynaptic neuron sends neurotransmitters to a synapse, which binds onto the postsynaptic neuron to result in an action potential. Think of action potentials as a person going through a room that resembles a neuron with doors on both sides. When a person enters the room, the room depolarizes, and when a person leaves, the room repolarizes. If more people were to enter the room, it would require more doors which cause higher action potentials. The relationship between presynaptic and postsynaptic neurons and their action potentials vary. This is called synaptic plasticity, and in synaptic plasticity, there's a specific type of adjustment known as spike timing dependent plasticity, or STDP, which is the change in strength between neuronal connections based on timing of when action potentials get triggered. Now, what is LTP and LTD on this STDP graph? Allow me to explain. Imagine a winter setting of three people. Let's say that this is Preston, Posty, and Emily. Let's say that Preston wants to go talk to Posty, and so Preston Preston approaches Posty, but then Emily, aka the external stimuli, throws a snowball right before Preston grabs Posty's attention. This results in Posty turning around and assuming that Preston threw a snowball, which results in a weaker connection between them. The weaker connection represents LTD, which filters out irrelevant information in our brain. If we look at this from a different scenario, let's say that the same situation happens, but this time Emily throws a snowball right after Posty turns around, which results in a stronger connection between Preston and Posty. This stronger connection is LTP, which keeps relevant information relevant to our brain. If Emily threw a snowball at Posty long before or after Preston grabbed Posty's attention, then there will be no conflict between Preston and Posty because of a large time interval. Think of it like this. That sound was on the start of the video but super delayed so your brain would not have correlated the clapping sound with that clip because of a large time interval. One neuronal connection that faces STDP affects surrounding neurons which modulates action potentials and our learning slash memory system. External stimuli such as this video cause STDP in our brain. Thanks for watching.